So I want to talk about this individual named Wally. Just so you know, I when I grew up, I grew up with this guy, Martin Wastenholm. He was a couple grades ahead of me, but a really nice guy. And if I was ever in a tennis match, I'd want him as my number one pick. What a great guy. He was Canada's best tennis player before uh, the young crop of guys are in there now. And if I was uh, looking for my number one pick for a hockey player, I'd consider this guy, Steve Eiserman. When I was training in the summer uh, as a 14-year-old, this guy came on the ice. Didn't know the guy's name. His coach told me his name's Steve Eiserman and he's going to the NHL. I didn't know if I believed him. But when I got on the ice, I thought, I can believe it. So if I was ever in a war and I wanted my number one draft pick, it would be this guy, Wally. Uh, they, the Russians said he died. And the reason uh, why he couldn't refute it is because he didn't take his cell phone. And the rumor went on for a couple weeks. But when he finally returned, he said, I surely have not died. So the El Pais has a story about Wally. Um, there's been a couple other stories. The Daily Mail came out with a story maybe a month or two ago. Great story. I did a video on that. And now El Pais has done a story on him. And I'll put a link in so you can read it. This guy is the most feared warrior in the world, in my opinion. If you're fighting and this, you hear that this guy's come into the fighting arena, you might want to find an exit. This guy is lethal. He's terrifying. And if I was... If I had a number one pick, he would be it. This guy is very scary. So I want you to read this article about Wali. Really nice guy, but if you're fighting against him, you might want to find an exit.